This is Nick Rye here. Hola, amigo. It's Herc. What you up to? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running some errands for the wife and kiddo. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. So listen, man. Remember that time a couple years back we got hammered on party liquor, spread eagle, and I made you promise that if I was ever seduced by a super hot, super intelligent being of dubious moral standing who whisked me away to an exotic land, well, that you'd come and help a brother out. Uh... Vaguely. Well, bro, sis, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Oh, shit! Perk! I really don't have time for this! But, dude, you made a promise! Do you even know what a promise is? That's like a sacred pact, man. That no hey, man shit, man. Come on, get you, stupid right. gal. Herc, look, can whatever you need wait till tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the big N-O on that, compadre, because this is one of them uh, life or death things that I sometimes get myself into through no fault of my own. All right, fine. I'll help. Where do you need me to go? Uh, well, it's a little far. Don't worry. I get you here in the jiffy. What the fuck does that mean? Herc? <laughs> what the? Look, just hold on and try not to vomit. Oh, and if you got a six-pack on you, go grab it now. Her, what the hell is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever you're doing, stop! Fuck this! Fine, the situation is uh, rather dire. But just head through the doors, man. I'll explain everything in a minute. Whoa, whoa, what the? Systems operating at five. What is this place, Herc? What am I doing here? Look, man, okay, there ain't always a logical explanation of these things. Sometimes you just find yourself, like, in a space station with little to no context or backstory. You just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna what? die. Me? What the fuck are you talking about? I swear to God, I'm gonna whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, man, dude, I am so happy to see you, too. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. Firstly, let me explain what's going on. You are now on Mars. Welcome. Now, imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. What from? An alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man, an alien invasion. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It's not gonna be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth. It's gonna be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about, you remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. And we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to the beautiful, majestic, Earth-saving butterfly she once was? by finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network, man. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moving, though, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. Energy cores? Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kurt? I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm sorry. You're not the only person who's to turn upside down for far-fetched and highly I mean, look at me. If anyone sticks in here, it's me, the Hurt Kurt. 
don't want any part of this. I just want to go back to my family. So you brought me all the way to Mars to turn the power back on? Well, don't say it like that, man. You take all the pizzazz. Control center restored. It worked, see? Nick, this is Ann. Ann, meet my bro, Nick. Uh... Hi? Nicholas Rye. You are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah, Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. Just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No. It is very straightforward. <clears throat> okay, man. All systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. Feels like space jizz or something, but this stuff is magic, Miko. Harvest is straight from the air. It makes all sorts of cool shit out here. When you're done, man, take some of your space jizz over that 3D print machine over there, and I'll show you a cool trick. Welcome to the place where all your wildest dreams come true. Current designs are limited. The more you restore me, the more blueprints I can retrieve from the database. to obliterate any and all life forms who stand in our way. Uh, what do you mean, all life forms? Oh, you'll see when we get outside. We? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you hog all the glory for saving the world. This here's a partnership. Now, come on, grab my head, dude. We got work to do. Man, this is not happening. Get a grip, Nicholas, because your brain's about to go... across the landscape. Turning them on will help restore my functionality and help you on your journey. Oh, shit. What was that? Relax, man. It's just Mars, you know? Wait, 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 man. Stay off that dirt. We can't find the other energy cores unless we power the antenna. Fuck me. I gotta climb towers now? Look, man, some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in Montana, for which I apologize, okay? It was over after I left Kyrat, but here we are. Man, I, I totally forgot to mention those space crabs. They live underground. That that one's on me, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You want to tell me what that was all about? Man, ain't you ever seen Tremors? These space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way. I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. Anne was telling me they're gonna use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. 
Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, uh, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy core so Anne can't get back <laughs> online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. Antenna restored. Functionality increased. Excellent, Nick. Thank you for your assistance. You may now consult your map to locate other energy cores in this area. Oh man, those two blips right there? That looks like the spot where I was attacked by a big-ass space crab. I am picking up a signal from your gravity belt nearby. It will improve mobility, remove fall damage, and allow you to reach the transference center. No. No way, my space jets are still working, dude! Dude, my space jets are still working! Okay, let's go find them, man. Once you acquire the gravity belt, go to the transference center. What the hell's transference? Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. Transference is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Ann. Oh, man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body, so I'll just live life in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man. I'm staying positive. Disengaging door lock. Please wait. Oh, dang, is that... Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? Point, man. I'm just not mentally prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad body. My scans indicate several more organic anomalies. Oh, come on, are you serious? My body's in a bunch of pieces? Oh, man, how are we gonna find them all? With transference, you will gain the ability to detect such anomalies yourself. Done and done. Here and now, another promise is made. We will find my body parts and put me back together like Humpty Dumpty, because there ain't no point in saving a world that does not include my beautiful booty. I'm happy you will comply. Transference is the future. Okay, just like Eric. Where's my junk? Nick! Nick! Where's my junk? Nick! You are lucky you've never had to go through this, man. Nick, I'm telling you, there is no worse feeling than thinking you found your dismembered member only to realize it's your peckerless pelvis? Come on, man! A little sympathy!
We gotta find the rest of me, Nick. From my temples to my taint to my toes, man. All of me, okay? And then Anne can turn me into a real boy again. Herc, what you're saying isn't possible. No way, Jose. You shoot a big enough load of that space jizz in the hands for you. Printer and anything is possible. Nonsense, Herc. With transference, you'll become something greater than man. You will become immortal. Indestructible. You will be... perfect. While there is truth to that statement, I gotta be honest with you, I am on the temporary train for this one, Anne. I don't expect you to understand the joys of humanity. The pleasures of the flesh, the delights of the senses, the takings of a monstrous dump. cyber-killing machine and fulfill my destiny or not. If I become a robot, I'll try to kill you, but I promise I won't. I'm gonna be a good robot, like RTD2, but with a machine gun. Approaching transference center. Oh man, I'm starting to get real excited now. I cannot believe that in just a few minutes, I'm gonna be a cold, uncaring, cybernetic death monster. It's gonna be sweet, man. It's gonna be sweet. up before we can use the transference chamber. You fly like the wind now, little monkey. Monkeys don't fly, Herc. Not with that attitude, they don't. Use the transference chamber. The two You working as a team will greatly increase our chances of success. Team Tad Bros for life. Put me in, dude. Put me in.
Put me in for real, and, and don't forget to take my head. We'll need it to complete the awkward human puzzle out of the cup. Up my goatee. Oh, my God. I am fucking Robocop, man. Half man, half robot, all party machine. Oh, my God, I need some theme music. chance again. And this sexy, delicious, rock-hard body was built to last all kinds of physical and verbal abuse. We're linked up, man, so you can just tell me where to go and I'll follow, man. I won't even argue, like, ever. Unless you say something about monkeys. And if we find ourselves in a pickle and shit gets real intense, you just use me, man. I'll draw these suckers away with my jaw-dropping dance moves and such. Now, I know you're impressed with how impressive I've become, but don't let how impressive I am distract you from the fact that we gotta give our human compadres the heroes they deserve. We need to find more energy cores, man. I think there's another antenna nearby, so let's go. Huh? Just how the hell did you get mixed up in all this? Man, that's not important. What is important is that you understand how much danger we're all in because I didn't, okay? I fucked up. I, I didn't really realize. I tried to impress Anne by taking care of this all myself and where to get me? Got my damn body snatched and sprinkled all over damn Mars. It's probably my fault for telling her that I was Earth's greatest champion. I see that now, but come on, man. I'm trying to get some. So all I'm trying to tell you, Nick, is that you can't be a dummy about this, okay? You can't be thinking you're some new hot kid on the block. You gotta stay humble, man. Stay focused. You gotta be smart, man, like old Hurt. You hear this? Because you're not smart. You're actually really, really dumb, Hurt. I was dumb, Nick. I was dumb. Past tense. And for like a very short period of time, I'm talking 17 seconds max. And that's way less time than most people spend being dumb, which is a scientific fact. Which means that it is scientifically impossible for me to do anything dumb for like a long, long time, man. Like statistically, that's a fact. Right? 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 Nick? Approaching antenna. All right, man, same deal as last time. Get to the top and power that terminal. Hey, this looks kind of fun. 
looks kind of deadly to me. Oh, just embrace it, man. See it's a chance to test yourself. And to test those space jets. Come on, man. Beware the stabilizer cores. Touching them will cause severe harm to any organic matter. Sucks for you, buddy, that you're made out of all that organicness. Too bad you don't have a sweet killer robot outfit like I do. Transference is the future. Robots never age, never decay, never rot. Robots are forever. Do you desire transference, Necrai? Uh, no. It's okay, I'm good. Grab some of them eggs, man. Their crab moans will come in handy. So what exactly is gonna happen once Ant's power is restored? As you restore power to my terminals, you will in turn help me regain control of my network. My robot army will power back on, and assist you in fending off the arachnid horde. Wait, robot army? Once I regain full control, I will direct my robots to the launcher, where they will travel to Earth and intercept the arachnid invasion. Jesus. I know, man, it's gonna be awesome. Her, that sounds terrifying. Whoa, okay, hang on, man. I got all kinds of shit flash up in my eyes here. What the hell is this? I've uploaded the locations of your body parts to your map. Antenna C1 restored. Energy core locations updated. with you, Herc, to know that appealing to you with logic and reason is pointless. Oh, man. That is really nice of you to say. You really get me. Herc, shouldn't we be focusing on saving the world? Nick Rye is correct. We are. I just want to take a peek, okay? Mining station C1. Use caution. I am detecting a strong arachnid presence. A queen has laid her eggs here. Queen? Hey! Remember what I said, amigo? The queen's gonna have that energy core with her, and we need to get it back. Killing her offspring will draw the queen out. Offspring? You mean, you mean babies, right? I don't want to kill babies. These ain't babies, okay? They're tiny little monsters, man. This is 100% guilt-free baby killing, man, like baby carrots or veal. Besides, it's the only way we can draw the queen out and get the energy core.
detected. Whoa! Here comes the queen! What the? My body part's on the move. It's inside the queen. Oh, come on now. She's escaping! Killing other arachnids will anger her. She will return to protect them. Kill them space crabs, man! <laughs> So tough now, are you? Oh, yeah. You were right, Herc. She had your bright arms. Uh, wait, 
What's this other thing? Exposing it to the arachnids will render them hostile toward one another. So I throw this thing out and the space crabs fight each other and not me. Fighting over a woman's heart. Maybe we ain't so different after all. Herc, these things want to eat every person on Earth. The universe... ...works in mysterious ways, Nicholas. Terminal room lock disengaged. You may now enter. Use your energy core in the terminal. Station C1 restored. Explosions for you. Systems now operating at 25%. Well done. My defenses have grown, but we are still far from our goal. Man, I don't know how much more of this I can take. You can, and you will, Nick. There will be danger at every turn, but I will be there to guide you. Hello, and me. I'm now capable of updating your map with all antenna locations. Restoring them should be your first course of action when entering a new area. wretched creatures. I believe in you. I'm right here. You will save the Earth. Oh, good idea. Okay, whatever. I'll just be the accessory, the ultimate killing machine, an accessory. Super good idea there. You heard the lady. Let's go, Mr. Soul Hero of Earth, who don't need my help whatsoever. Of course not. The world's our oyster, man. You just lead the way, and I guess I'll just follow along like a little toady helper boy. Herc, would you grow up? Sorry, man. I'm just normally okay with being ignored by overly hot women. Just...
approaching Robot Repair Center. So much for this place. See, Nick? We really do have to make me human again, because if I die as a robot, we can't bring me back to life no more. Well, the same damn thing applies to humans, huh? Yeah, for now, but in the future, who knows? <clears throat> This note's from Larry Parker. Oh, so that's who Ann was talking about. No, she told me that, that she had another before me. But I don't really want to hear about him. I, I'm, I'm the jealous type, so... Anyways, he was like a, a servant who helped her put together this whole place or something. I don't know. He's sounding like a douchebag to me. Well, what happened to him? Who knows, man? And who gives a shit? I mean, who cares what Ann's ex-man is up to? I mean, uh, nothing happened. The center's power nodes require repairs. A bot has been deployed. Follow the repair bot! Protect the bot, man! The bot cannot engage in combat and conduct repairs at the same time. Repair Center restored. Nice job, man. Game ball goes to repair bomb, but that was a team effort all around. I fully recognize that. Okay, on to the next one. Warning. Queen Arachnid ahead. Watch out! For the Queen!
guess we're gonna do it right. We're gonna get some proper tunes, man. The garden forever, man. These guys were my first roadie gig back in the 90s. It was the no cardigans required tour, which was odd because back then everybody wore a cardigan. those guys and they got all depressed and whatnot. Said she made them feel used and objectified. Some people just aren't cut out for rock and roll, I guess. So it was a good idea. Visibility cloak acquired.
Can we get real, Nicholas? This whole, this whole lack of a body sitch has got me thinking about some heavy stuff, amigo. Like, what is my purpose, man? What is the nature of man if not to procreate and exchange information, right? So how am I going to exchange said information over heavy heaving boobs without the ability to procreate? Approaching Bovine Research Center. Anne's researching cows? They quite possibly represent the quintessential Earthling. That's us, Anne. Human. It's difficult to say. My research is incomplete. No, I mean, you don't need the research. I'm telling you. Your opinion is noted. No, no, it's not an opinion. Herc, just drop it. Now, why does someone gotta say something every time I'm trying to enlighten folks? This one's 
got a teleporter I can't even use. Looks like you'll be on your own, amigo. Fuck, man. What is this place? Is that a fucking Yeti? There's a Yeti in there? Damn it, man, why do you get to have all the fun? I've been trying to meet a Yeti my whole life. Do me a favor. Ask him if he likes to party. I know they do in my gut, but just ask him. I'm looking for some confirmation here. There's actually cows in here. Oh, man. Pet them for me. Acquired. Entering planet Earth test ground. Whoa! My God! I'm in some kind of simulation here. It's like a movie set back home or something. This area is used to test my robots so that they can adequately protect the human race. How long has Anne been studying us? Millennia. Understanding the history of the Earth is imperative in conducting the means by which to save it. Entering planet Earth testing ground. Whoa. It's a trap. <laughs> Eliminate the queen. Terminal room locked. Arachnid threat present. You hit me with something. My gravity belt's jamming.
magnets to attract the queen. Center restored. Wait. Hey, go, bro. I mean, I obviously can't see in there, but it sounds like you kicked a lot of ass. Chicken grenade acquired. Did you just say chicken grenade? Yeah, man. When have you not wanted to combine a chicken and a grenade and bathe in the after effects of something so magical? The answer is never, Nick. Never. It's time to go, man. This place gives me the creeps.
Teleportation error 604. Destination coordinates incomplete. Oh my goodness! If Peter saw this and you would meet your match. I have no match. Approaching antenna C2. Oh shit! Space bats! Don't get zapped, okay? You're gonna have to time your jumps, Migo. Stay away from them shocky things, man! Wait till the electric coils disappear! Look out, man! Those things are on the fritz! Nicholas, I've decided. I will be the godfather to your child. Uh, thanks, her. Uh, you know we didn't ask you to be, right? I know, I know. I just figured a situation like this is creating an even tighter bond than our already historic friendship. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a lot of responsibility. We already... Who's more responsible than me? Who is more responsible than me? Seriously? With great power comes great responsibility. You have seen my calves. They look like goddamn Christmas hands. I'm a very powerful man, which in turn makes me very responsible, Nicholas. That's not what that saying means. Come on, man. I look like a big old teddy bear. Them children love me. All right. Sure, buddy. I'll think about it. Thank you, Nicholas. All I ask is that, that my proposal is reviewed. Antenna C2. Restored. Energy core locations updated. You know, I was just thinking, and one of the thoughts that occurred to me was, if I could see underground, these little bastards wouldn't stand a chance. You see, I'd just be up here playing whack-a-mole with these big old hammers here. Just a thought for version 2.0, and that's uh, that's my, my fearless feedback, if you will, my two cents. Like, your robot... 
Approaching mining station C2. Warning. The clean arachnid is in possession of an energy core. I'm fin to put on a clinic, and I ain't talking about the kind where I get my rubbers. Actually, now that I think about it, it's about to be a lot like the place where I get my rubbers.
Heads up, man, the queen's here. Oh, man, I think I just shit my robot pants. Yep, definitely a bolt or two rolling around down there.
Terminal room lock disengaged. You may now enter. C2 restored. What the? There's a whole lot of space jizz up inside of Mars, bro. Pools of it, okay? And these things, they just mine this stuff straight out of Space Crab Central. So Ann just goes and takes... I am simply making use of something the arachnids cannot. This is the super intelligent... The space crabs we're talking about, right? It would be foolish to waste something with such potential. It has been used to build everything you see. Like badass killer robots! Exactly. Hey man, do you boy a favor? Grab that body part over yonder there. Thank you! Snag the body part. Looks like a big toe. Make sure that's my big toe and not my thumb. Yes, I'm one of those people whose thumbs look like big toes. Don't judge me. Speedo senses is tangling, man. That means we're definitely close to one of my body parts. Is a 
are still two-toned. My calves are still nice and tan, but my thighs are still real pasty like Elmer's glue. Warning. Geothermal anomaly detected. Whoa, hang on. Pump the brakes. That gassy thing is not friendly, man. Oh, man, these fumes, they fuck with your brain. Yeah, but I, I've been down that road before, and I learned my lesson, and I'm not doing it again. Just saying. You've been warned. Oh, man, you got balls, Nicholas. I used to, too. No, 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 oh, hell no! What? What is it, man? You having one of them work dreams? Man, I hate those! You spend that whole night dreaming you're at work, and then you wake up and you gotta go to work, man! It's the fucking worst! Worse! I'm in John Seed's bunker! Subjective. prisoner down here. I gotta find a way out. I sometimes have nightmares that I'm getting chased by broccoli. Broccoli's your friend, Herc. More broccoli, less gas station burritos. Oh no! Angels, too? Man, this Martian gas is some kind of fucking jerk. Taking away your amazing sex dreams and replacing them with nightmares? I mean, come on now. That's it, right? Tell my inner John Madden and say that you need to get further than man. Run, Nicholas, run!
Holy moly, man, you okay? I thought you were a goner there. God damn. The hell is that stuff? I told you so, man. This shit is not to be fucked with. I mean, unless you got something to prove. Dang, maybe that's what these things is. The alien trials. Building <laughs> Solar System Observatory. Preservation of this site is key. No weapons are permitted. I've extracted a blueprint from the database. A safer weapon awaits you inside. Laser field security system malfunctioning. Please exercise caution. You're on your own, dude. I don't fuck with lasers, man. They might ruin my tattoos. You are a robot. You don't have tattoos anymore. Stay with me spiritually. Fine. I'll do it myself. All weapons removed. Arachnid threat nearby. Please acquire the Force Gauntlets in the event you must defend yourself. Resume terminal reboot. Nicholas, do you remember that movie, The Wizard? Super cool flick. Start Fred Savage, that kid that can say California. A uh, little busy, huh? Well, you remember the guy Lucas in it? He had long, beautiful, blonde, flowing, curly hair and dark sunglasses that you could see the reflection of your own soul in. And he also possessed a power glove, oh. like you do. You're not helping. Well, I'm trying to tell you if you just let me tell you about Lucas and how he had a power glove. But hey, man, if you don't want the knowledge of a power glove master on your side, well, that's on you. Uh, oh, shit. What? What is it, man? Oh, oh man, you're fucked. Only Lucas would know how to defeat those.
reboot resuming. The observatory can now be powered on. Well, Lucas probably would have finished the level faster, but I suppose you did okay. Observatory restored. Systems now operating at 50%. You must push forward quickly. The arachnids are fully aware that we are trying to stop them. Really? I mean, it doesn't look that way to me. Not at all. Was it cool, man? Full sciencey stuff? Her. There's a hologram showing our solar system and the. The Earth's got a bunch of targets on it. What you saw was the culmination of my research. Those icons represent Earth's weakest defense points. Areas the arachnids will surely attack. Oh. Right. Yeah, yeah I see. Do I sense a doubt in you, Nick Rye? No. Me? No. Good. Warning, Queen Arachnid nearby. Holy shamoly, Queenie, over there, buddy. has considerably decreased in size. I'm impressed, Nick. Oh man, that was tight! Good job, Rosef. with the gravity belt. 
You said it, Ed. Oh my goodness, she is so smart and sexy. Uh, how can you know that? Man, I just know these things, okay? I've heard enough phone operators in my life that I can just tell when the looks match the voice. I just wish Ed's name was Gina. Boy, I got such a thing for Gina's. Gina Davis and Earth Girls are easy. Gina Gershon and Showgirls and my all-time fave. Gina Carano, man, whooping ass all up and down that octagon. But I'll tell you, man, it's important. It's important to have a sexy name, but I have learned that I can't have everything I want in a woman. Man, it really is special, so I'm telling you, what I'm, what I'm feeling for her, it might be... It might be the L word. You don't believe in love. Hey, someday I might. Approaching antenna B2. Oh, shit. Good luck with that one, dude. I do not know how you're gonna get up there. It will require a certain proficiency with the gravity belt. You said it, Ann. Oh my goodness, she is so smart and sexy. Uh, how can you know that? Man, I just know these things, okay? I've heard enough phone operators in my life that I can just tell when the looks match the voice. I just wish Ann's name was Gina. Boy, I got such a thing for Gina's. Gina Davis and Earth Girls are easy. Gina Gershon and Showgirls and my all-time fave. Gina Carano, man, whooping ass all up and down that octagon. But I'll tell you, man, it's important. It's important to have a sexy name, but I have learned that I can't have everything I want in a woman. And Ann really is special, so I'm telling you, what I'm, what I'm feeling for her, it might be... It might be the L word. You don't believe in love. Hey, someday I might.
Space bats, man, these guys are so annoying. Look out for the space bats, man. Core locations updated. I don't know what it is, man, but this Ann, she's got me feeling some kind of... Wait, some way I ain't never felt before. It's like a deep deep aching in the testicles of my heart, man. I mean, this is gonna sound kind of strange, I know, but sometimes it reminds me of my old man. Cause she's cold and has this general lack of interest for my well-being just like he does, and it drives me wild. Approaching Robot Creation Center. Oh, this is cool, man. We get to see where Anne makes her babies. Terminal malfunction. You must deploy a repair bot. Oh, why is everything so broken, man? Blast door is defective. Find another way inside. <laughs> Puzzle, huh? Use the console to deploy a repair bot. Oh, shit. A big what, man? Who's gonna come for us, huh? Mars security? Error code 502. Unprogrammed robots deployed. Robots hostile. Oh, man, I gotta learn how to buy my time.
neutralized. You must manually deploy a repair bot using the console. The hell do we do? Hit the console again? I mean, it can't happen twice, can it? Famous last words. Oh, man! You see? I'm gonna take you gambling, Nicholas. Whoa, never mind. Solo gambling it is. You're bad luck, dude. Protect the repair bot. Nick, watch that repair bot! Shoot the bad robots, okay? You can tell the difference, right? They're the ones that look kind of mysterious. Terminal repaired. The robot creation center can now be powered on. I'm coming, I'm coming! Robot creation center restored. Robots sure are a force to be reckoned with, dang. Yeah, well, it's pretty fucking terrifying how easily they can start attacking us. Malfunctions, Nicholas. These things happen, okay, man? Don't worry about it, okay? Anne's gonna have it all under control for the big dance. They ain't gonna hurt us. Yeah, well, color me skeptical. Approaching Terraformer. Arachnid nests are interfering with terminal performance. Destroy them. Shoot the nests! The 
glowing things, man. We gotta destroy them or we won't be able to power the terminal. Seeing all these nests, man, it reminds me of a question that I always forgot to look up. Hey, Ann, how long do eggs last after their sell by date? I do not understand your question, Herc. Please focus on your mission. Fine, whatever. She would have known the answer. Just saying. minimal. Recharging in progress. Oh, come on, man. God damn these spacecrafts. We gotta fend them off, man. Look out, bro. We got space bats. Charged. The terraformer can now be powered on. Punch it, man! Seeing a lot of sex appeal in the air and jealousy. One of my body parts must be nearby. That's what that means. Approaching Arachnid Research Center. Warning, this center has been overrun. I am detecting a large arachnid presence and many nests. Uh, looks like these here space crabs are a little pissed off at all your experiments, and Gotta be a queen here. Let's get after it. Threat present.
activity detected. Uh-oh! Holy shit, man! There's three of them! Are you nuts? We can't find three at the same time! Dude, this is so scary. Like, it's worse than having to zip your pants up when you're drunk. Evasive maneuvers, amigo! Come on, man! We gotta tag team them!
now, Migo. <laughs> Arachnid Research Center restored. one to the... Man, this thing felt super good, like finishing first in the science. Fair. You finished first in the science fair. With what? You ever heard of a little something called invisible ink, motherfucker? Well, that's been done thousands of times. 
How'd you win with that? There was just two of us. The other guy didn't show. Look, man, first place is first place, okay? No matter which way you cut it. Is, is tangling, man. That means we're definitely close to one of my body parts. What the fuck is this? Be. I'm at that son of a bitch John Seed's ranch. It's all weird looking though. Man, it sounds like these fumes hijack your brain compartments and pick at your emotions. You mean like how I wish to God I could have watched him die real slow? I could kill that guy a hundred times and it still wouldn't be enough.
five kills or something? I ain't complaining. To hell with this guy. you are, you sick motherfucker! Oh, what the... There's more! There's more John Seeds! Well, oh, careful what you wish for, amigo! Hello? Anyone left? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. You feel better now that you virtual reality cleaned the place out? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, then. Good boy. Come on back now.
Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Sweet Monkey King, it's your prodigal son. I'm summoning you to protect us from this queen. <laughs> Sons of Odin, man, these guys are off the chain. Oh, oh shit! Oh, the sand, the sand, it's, it's coarse and, and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Oh, they went into the occult and shit, man, super into sex magic. Not the Chili Peppers kind, but like the, uh, the Aleister Crowley stuff. Stage, man, lots of orgies and whatnot. I mean, orgies seem real cool on paper, but you know what they never tell you about, Nicholas? The smell. My weapons they, are they shot. smell terrible. <laughs> All them sweat. Leather clad bodies just rolling around. I mean, it's Smells like armpits and Bedusi. Fucking disgusting, man, but, but they rock real hard. Dang, boy, we are like two cans of rain. She looking? Shut up, her. Just a question, man. Jeez. Kim, Kim, stay inside. I got these sons of bitches. I won't let them hurt you. from 
the hangar, you dipshits! Oh, man! I just had the plane fainted, too! Who paints a hangar? I mean, it's a hangar. Well, some people like to take care of the things they're proud of, huh? That's cold, man. I mean, you know I have daddy issues. Oh, they're gone! The Peggy's! It's over! Go get your daughter, man! Baby girl? Ah! That's not baby girl! What? What is it? It was a Krabby, it wasn't baby girl! Oh man, that is so cruel. I think it's time you end that nightmare, dude. Approaching antenna B1. Oh my goodness! Space crabs really did a number on this one. Look at that! You know what bugs me out most about Mars? I don't know. Earth's impending doom? The space crabs? No, none of those. Where all them three titty went? You know, I've been looking around for weeks, Nicholas, and I ain't seen one yet, man. Total recall. More like total lie. Herc. You know I love you, buddy, but you ain't right. Fucking taser, spacer, a nice a laser. Man. Antenna B1 restored. Energy core locations updated. Systems now operating. Seventy-five percent. 
20%. I am sensing an increase in stability, more functionality, and a spike in my capabilities. But I need... Why are my bitches in here, man? Station B1. Warning. The Queen Arachnid is in possession of an energy core. And we know just how to get it. Let's lure Big Mom out, amigo. Take out the egg nests, man. They look like red glowing branches. Shoot the eggs, man. Take out those little space crabbies, man. I hate those guys. Seeing all these crabbies takes me right back to prom night. Yeah, it was crazy, man. I skipped out on all the festivities and found myself on Gina Louise Trombley's couch watching reruns of Matlock. One thing led to another, and the result was me getting the itch, also known as cramps.
lock disengaged. You may now enter. My scans indicate that only a handful of queens remain. You must kill them into extinction. One restored. I bet you Kim misses you, huh? Yeah. I'd like to think my parents are missing me right now, but if I'm real honest with you and with myself. They probably don't even know I'm gone yet. It's like when I ran away from home at 30, man. Except this time, when I return, it's gonna be different. Yeah, it's gonna be real different. Cause I'm gonna have saved the planet, man. They're gonna have to love me then. My daddy, my mom, and all of them. We'll be like a big happy family, man. We'll get together on holidays and stuff, man. Like Christmas and Canadian Thanksgiving and for real Thanksgiving, man. Boy, I get all wound up just thinking about it. Total Recall remake should have had a mutant with two dongs, man. You know, something for the ladies. Plus, how are you gonna fuck three T's with one D? That math don't add up, Migo. I'm sick of the. Approaching robot storage facility. Damn, spacecraft sure did a number on this place. Damaged. Repair bot deployed. We've got company! Protect that repair bot! The bot cannot engage in combat and conduct repairs at the same time. Let's help our little friend out! We gotta shoot first and get drunk with our little buddy later. Situations require serious chills, man. 
Time to bring out the big gun. The boss, Bruce Epstein. Watch out for the queen! Uh, how many queens are there? Queen, put my weapons on the first... As in the boss, I meant like the old boss from when I worked at Suncoast Video. He was my manager by day, but his real passion was making royalty free music for teenage karate movies and softcore pornography. <laughs> Skinamax at like 3 a.m., you definitely heard his work, man. He was the go-to guy in the 80s and 90s.
tell you, man, it's pretty unfortunate that there ain't other people around to see how awesome we... Approaching Himalayan Research Center. You call it what you want, man. It's still spacious to me. Approaching Himalayan Research Center. You call it what you want, man. It's still space years to me. Warning. Laser security system online. Whoa, lightsaber extravaganza, bro. Careful now. <laughs> Gotta get to the second floor, man. The old-fashioned way. That means climb. Isn't it the my tube sock? The goddamn space jizz energy conversion lab or something, man. Look at all that goo. And sure was serious about keeping this stuff under lock and key. I told you this stuff is gold. Space can't produce it, man, like bees do with honey. Only difference is this stuff's way more like jizz. Approaching Himalayan Research Center. You call it what you want, man. It's still space years to me. Warning. Laser security system online. Gotta get to the second floor, man. The old-fashioned way. That means climb. Whoa, lightsaber extravaganza, bro. Careful now. Whoa, look in there, man. This place has more jizz in it than my tube sock. The goddamn space jizz energy conversion lab or something, man. Look at all that goo. And sure was serious about keeping this stuff under lock and key. I told you this stuff is gold. Spacecrafts produce it, man, like bees do with honey. Only difference is this stuff's way more like jizz. You ever think maybe that's why they're so pissed off? Nick, are you... Oh, 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 oh. oh Nick, Nick, Nick. Are you suggesting that space crabs aren't hell-bent on interplanetary annihilation and that they're just getting back at Anne because she took something that rightfully belongs to them? Um, well, is that so far-fetched? It's not far-fetched. It's just plain dumb. Himalayan Research Center restored. Shooter upgrade up to you, man! Woohoo!
is a wonderland and it is around here somewhere so keep your eyes peeled okay Geological Research Center. Warning. The arachnids have turned this area into a nesting ground. Exercising extreme caution is advised. Man, sounds like we'll definitely find a queenie in there.
train incoming. that movie. Terminal room lock disengaged. You may now enter. Damn it, man. You gotta be kidding me, okay? I mean, the one goddamn part I want is the only part that's missing still. This is some bullshit. Yeah, I get it, okay? But let's finish this thing first, all right? We're wasting valuable time, man. Okay, but don't think I'm gonna forget, Nick, because I won't. I go to grab my junk every 35 seconds, ain't nothing there. It's weird. Geological Research Center restored. Systems now operating. 
reading at 100%. Nick, Kirk, you've done it. Please return to the control center. You must initiate the launch sequence. But what about my pecaroni? It's been salvaged. Oh my goodness! She found my junk! A fully functional Frankenherk waits in the wings, brosif! I'm gonna be reborn, man! I'm gonna be reborn! Okay, let's go, man! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! body parts initiate the launch sequence and i will take care of the rest you got that nick i got it surging through my systems. Oh my goodness, listen to her while we did it, we fucking did it. About damn time. I've waited so long for this. The power, the control, at last to return to my superior form. Uh, her? I am free, and so too is my unstoppable force. A force that will devour all that is beneath me. Her? This teddy masquerade can end. The time has finally come. Herc! Are you hearing this? Yeah, I'm trying to, Nick, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, Anne, go on. The time has finally come to what now? To kill you all. Oh, shit! Oh my god, dude! Dude, Anne's bad, Anne! Anne's got 
one skit, so I, I don't think any of us could have seen this coming. Uh, how did we not pick up on this? Are you kidding me? Give me a break, man. I was blinded by Anne's unwavering lack of interest in me. And people always seek mates that are like their parents, man. You know that. You idiot. I will never forgive you for this hurt. Kirk, I am disappointed in you. Listen, lady, your sexy talk will not work on me no more. You are pathetic and unworthy of the gift I've given you. God damn it. She sounds just like a sexy version of my daddy. You will never succeed. You were a failure as a human, and you are a failure now. Why am I so turned on by all this, man? You disgust me. Five minutes to the destruction of Earth. Aw, oh, dang, man. Launch of pads are charging up. What do we do? We gotta knock him out, man, before Anne blasts her robots to Earth. I need help here, man. Man, these guys are like a persistent itch. Time's running out, man. Come on. You will not stop me. You cannot change how this ends. Hurry, Nick! I got your back, Romigo. Focus on the robot launcher thingies, okay? Kill her for good. 
You cannot kill me, because you cannot outsmart me. I am always one step ahead. Initiating failsafe. Oh man! The hell's the failsafe? Why, it's you, Hark. You're the failsafe. Thank you. What's that sound? Wait! It is futile to persist. She's breaking, boy! Her... When we get out of this mess, we're gonna have to go our separate ways for a while, eh? No offense or nothing, but I've seen just about enough of you! That's cool, man. I understand fully. Killing me a bunch of times must really be hard on you, too. No! That's not it at all! Yeah, I totally feel you, man. I do. Totally, okay? I'll give you your space. This is it. Let's pull the plug on this psycho.
Stop! Oh shit, hold the dang phone. She's got control of my real body, Nicholas. Oh man, that is hella creepy. Are you sure you want to do this? I ain't never been more certain of anything in my life. But if you kill me, Kirk's body will perish. Oh man, this is this is just like those buddy cop movies where one partner's got a gun to their head and the other's gotta decide whether to shoot. There's nothing to think about, Herc. It's your body or seven billion people. Ah, oh, god damn it. Hang on, let me let me at least uh, consult my moral compass about this. I mean, maybe the deaths of seven billion people wouldn't weigh that heavily on my conscience if it means I get my body back, you know? Damn it, Herc! Seven billion lives! And your sacrifice is gonna save all of them! So I'm like a robot Jesus. Well, you call it what you want. The point is, you're gonna be a hero forever! Oh my goodness, Nicholas, you are right! You are so right! Man, I can... I can see it now. Herkimania running wild. There's gonna be so much partying and celebrations. People are gonna erect statues in my honor, make plushies also in my honor. I'll have my own holiday and I'll be on money. Probably start a bunch of action movies and I'll never have to pay for nothing. Oh, oh, and I'll get gifted a small chain of islands, which I'll call Herks and Caicos, and it'll be like one of them sex resorts where people walk around naked all the time. Dude, I'm just firing off one idea after another. I haven't even really begun to digest what this means. Bucky, let's do this. I'm ready, Nick. Do it, man. Unplug her. Kirk, don't do this. I love you. And in the words of Mori Povich, that was a lie. That kind of fucked me up, man. That looked a lot more final than I thought it would look. Damn. Oh, God. I, I'm sorry, Herc. I know that couldn't have been easy for you. I, I guess I broke a promise, huh? It, it was the right move, man. I mean, you taught me something. To Time to go, man. Let me just set up the coordinates. Dude, do you know what this means, man? We're heroes, okay? Fucking legends, man. So after the parade and everything, I say we go get tatted up to commemorate this journey. Well, I mean, you'll get a tat, and I guess I'll get the same tat like spray painted or... Her, hit the damn button. Right, yeah, the damn button, okay. Blue Planet, the heroes are coming home.